Hello, everybody. Welcome to part two of the December 15th, 2020 Pro League. Yes, guys, I should really open this with an apology. We got completely derailed from this series about two months ago. I put out part one. I'll put a link here. So you guys can go and check that out if you haven't seen it already about 2500 of you guys actually watched that and we're probably expecting a part two but then flash made a return to the ladder and i completely forgot about this series until today when i was just uh sitting around and i suddenly thought man i should cast some pro league we should go back and do that again i wonder if i have more replays and then i realized that i was about <laughs> Well, maybe halfway through this series, I had already finished part one and I just completely forgot about it. So we're going to jump back in here. It's a crazy week. I'm going or a crazy pro league day. I'm going to experiment with putting all of the names up in the top left here and the score and everything uh, permanently on the screen rather than just in between games. Uh, so that you guys can see that. I know some of you requested that. Um, so we're going to try that out. And so you can see it, that it's a bunch of pro players facing off against each other. And now in part number two, we are going into the King of the Hill phase of this match. Which means whoever wins this is going to uh, continue on until one, si one team has four wins. It's a best of seven, and we've got Soma down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Oregon in the top right. And we've already got one win on the board. I actually can't remember which team these two guys were from. Um, What were the teams here? Okay. It was Soma, Effort, Stork, Bisu versus Flash, Shuttle, Larva, Piano. So Piano is on... Flash's team and Flash's team won part number one. So here we are in part number two. We're going to be casting this. And if you haven't seen part number one, you should, like I said, definitely check that one out. It was really, really fun. A lot of crazy games. Piano was involved uh, in quite a few of those. He was playing against Stork. I went back and watched that because I can, uh, of course, two months ago, I don't remember anything from two days ago, but two months ago, I really can't remember. So I went back and watched that. So many good games in that series, especially Larva versus Soma. That was a great game. Uh, one of the games between Piano and Stork was excellent as well. Uh, all of the Flash games were fun. Very strong play from him, of course, leading his team. Uh, really team flash here because he is just of course going to be cleaning up and he might even uh, get an opportunity to try and clutch this out uh, for his squad we'll see uh, what happens in this king of the hill if Oregon just carries or if somebody else carries from his squad there's just so many good players in the lineup it's a kind of a two hatch build here from Soma I haven't really been fully paying attention to this game because I did this opener like four times. Um, <laughs> uh, just couldn't quite get it right. So I hope this is going to be the final take here. We have uh, the two hatch going with the third hatch on the way on location here at the third base. Pretty standard stuff out of Soma, especially for 2020. This is kind of poking here at the front. Not sure if even if anything has died so far maybe an scv or something like that but i think the drone managed to survive the scouting drone we've got the two overlords popping we're gonna begin production of those mutilists we've got four racks here for organ he's opened up with plus one very early on and a bunker at the front this is pretty like standard even in uh, like today's day and age 2024 this is still a very good build and a lot of players still use this uh, the early plus one with the four racks is just it gives you so much pressure on the map it really really makes you strong and we're here on 
Eclipse, which a lot of players tried back in these days to play in a normal fashion uh, as the Zerg player, but it kind of forced a, a sea change in the way that Zerg players approach this matchup. Uh, Eclipse was really the uh, the defining map with what became known as Hydralis Defiler play. Um, that like Plague Hydra, uh, which is quite popular now on a lot of, especially three player maps and maps that just don't have easy access to a natural with a tight choke and a high ground main base. So I think that might be what we see here out of Soma or he might try to play more standard. I can't remember exactly when that sea change happened. Uh, when players started shifting over into that style of gameplay, the more uh, Hydra Defiler style of gameplay uh, and kind of gave up on trying to make just normal, you know, lurker um, and, you know, straight into ultraless style, uh, play worked. And the, the reason why they really had to do that, how, why they had to abandon, uh, like going straight into ultraless is because the difficulty of grabbing a fourth base here is that there are then three locations that you have to defend. So if uh, Soma, for example, grabs a base down in the bottom right, he's going to have another base down here, um, plus this location to defend and this location. And usually pro Terran players, they will be able to find a way in. They'll find a way to disrupt the Zerg player before they can get all of the pieces of the puzzle online. Now, five Lurkers are popping out here. Queen's Nest on the way. We're not quite sure just yet what's going to be coming out of Soma. But he is droning up very heavily right now. And he's trying to harass these Marines. So he's, he's not really getting a whole lot done here. He's really not relying on Mutilus in this game at all. He just kind of poked a little bit here and there with the mutas that he made but he really didn't make a whole lot of them he's more focused on this transition and getting all of the pieces in order so that he can make his way into that hive now evolution chamber on the way that's still not a, a real indicator of what exactly is going to be coming here out of soma um i wonder if he'll make like guardians here will he try to like set up a bunch of guardians over the natural um will he just go directly into ultralisk from this position he's getting a few kills over here at the natural of oregon oregon has quite a few turrets though and he's brought the marines back to help to defend i don't think he's going to be able to break through the natural um that's just a little bit too much stuff here with three lurkers and three sunken colonies, uh, it's probably just not going to work out. More mutas are being made. We've only got five at the moment. And as that hive finishes, what tech is he going to start? An extra hatchery going up in the main base. Still not a full indicator of what's going to be happening here. Second evolution chamber. Now, let's see what he actually upgrades with this. And whether or not he throws down an ultralis cavern. Uh, it should just put down the Defiler's Nest. There it is. Defiler Mound, excuse me. Um, Ultra Cavern. Okay. So this is, I guess, pre-Ultralist Defiler Switch. When players were still trying to just go with uh, Ultra uh, off of three base and then try to sneak out a fourth base somewhere on the map. And this is not that strong. It's... um. Oh god. Oh boy. Okay, nice catch. Nice catch. Getting a few of those mutas. We aren't going to be going into uh, Guardian play. The The big reason is because, of course, we're going to be spending all of our money on Ultras. Now, I'm surprised he even went for the Defiler round. If he's just going to go into Ultra on 3 base, it almost feels like you might as well just go directly into... Uh, just pure ultra because you're going to have so little money. He's even getting plus one attack. So this is going to cost him so much gas. 
I'm not clear on even how much gas you'll have remaining after all these upgrades finish. It's going to be not much, though. Uh, I can imagine. Oregon just going to be pumping out huge amounts of units. He's not going to be going for drops, it seems. Instead, just relying on Irradiate and the power of Irradiate truly shines when your opponent is on uh, just three bases. Now, did he actually force the cancel or was that killed? I didn't see the money go up. Uh, the money was at like 300 um, around the time when he should have canceled, but it felt like he did cancel. I'm not 100% sure on that, that it was a cancel or not. These Munas are going to get one Supply Depot and fly out. Double upgrades here on the way. He killed the, the uh, SCV making the barracks, which is super annoying. This SCV is going to get stuck. I wonder how long that's going to take for him to get back on that barracks. Sitting here on just four barracks is a little bit annoying. Coming in for some Irradiates. Will he lose a Science Vessel? No. Science Vessel does survive. He's almost got these trapped. The four meters are eventually going to be wiped out. My gosh, he's even getting plague right now. That's kind of crazy. That is a little bit wild. How many ultras are we going to be able to pump out here? Oh, he killed the SCV building this, the CC. That's kind of huge. That's really going to slow things down here. Uh, Oregon transferring his workers now. CC is not nearly close enough to completion oh big plague on these a lot of marines get plagued here and Ling should be able to clean all these up yeah that's gonna open up a pathway for someone to get out on the map and he's gonna try and send a defiler out here oh if he can get one more consume he just needs one more and then he can throw down another plague he's gonna go for it Ooh, this is bad big plague there as well and a Science Vessel goes down. You can just see that um, definitely Oregon's not quite on the level that Soma is. He's eating a lot of damage from these plagues. Uh, he's having a hard time containing Zerg, even though Zerg's sitting here on three bases. He just doesn't have much money for ultras. Look, we're built. How many ultras do we actually have? Was it three? Four. Four ultras. That is his big timing. He's like, all right. I'm geared up. Let's go. He's got plus one armor done. We are actually only on plus one attack. Taking this fight, but the ultras are going to get wiped. I think. Okay, that's one ultra went down. Does have to fall back now. We're down to just three ultras total. Four more on the way, though. He's managed to at least get that many ultras. Um, do we have plague? No, one... Defiler spell it remains, so he's gonna throw down the Dark Swarm. It's pretty near the front, but it's not quite there. Even though this is gonna be able to come up the ramp, will he get uh, this round on the bunker? He does kill the bunker. Bunker is gonna go down. Piano gonna walk around this army. He's gonna find a location to park himself so that he's in the way of reinforcements. Great play here by Piano. Army in the natural should be able to deal with this. And you can see that Soma's already kind of drying out here. He's trying to get this fourth gas online. If he gets the fourth gas, he's going to have a real shot here at winning this game. But as long as that fourth gas is denied, things are just going to get worse and worse for Soma over time. Now, denying the third base is nice. It really slows down Oregon quite substantially but it's not that significant like we can still produce a lot of stuff here as soma or as uh, oregon uh just on the bases that we have right now plus two finally finished so there's been a bit of an upgrade advantage for a little while here for oregon and he's almost on this base if he just stims and heads this direction he should be able to get up there great plague on this group of units though oh boy we actually might just crumble here as Soma. That was an amazing plague. And he's not in a position where he can actually stop this. The Irradiates didn't come out early enough on the Defilers. So he just makes his way forward. He's going to force this to stay lifted. This base over here gets kind of low. But it looks like he's just barely going to clear out these Marines. Keeping that alive. So big moment there. With Soma finishing 
off those marines and keeping this alive now he can start the fourth gas and piano's kind of licking his wounds right now he's got two battle cruisers that are gonna fly out on the map see what he can do with those he can get out there and start to do some harassment two lurkers over here looks like he's gonna pull most of the lurkers away from his other defensive positions you are gonna pull them all up over to this base. He really wants to keep that alive, obviously. Very important that he does. Um, okay, great plague there. Deal some damage to these battle cruisers. Can he actually get the defiler? Oh, it's so close. Just barely not gonna be able to get that. It wiggles away. And Piano, I mean, he's gotta be a little bit frustrated right now. He should be in a winning position, but Soma's finding ways around him. And he might actually be able to win this. Now, the battle cruisers are coming in. If he targets down Nidus Canals, that can really be a problem. Uh, another Defiler gets irradiated here. These Lurkers are going to hold their position. Battle, battle cruisers, oh my god. They're going to wait until they've la lost all their health. I think they'll just be sent home. Um, and in fact, they will. So, okay. Well, they're not going to live that long. They instantly get cleaned up here. This couple of lurkers are actually holding everything back. And these are, this army is just going to get completely wiped. So that's crazy. We're actually ahead now in the progress of our carapace upgrade. I guess there was a bit of delay there for Oregon. He didn't hit his carapace upgrade properly. And so he is going to be behind. Now, can he actually break through here? There's a few lurkers. But the spread is pretty good. Can he actually get through this? Looks like he will kill the lurkers, but there's a little bit too many ultras here. It's still even upgrades. Um, okay, we're going to lose some science missiles. Two science missiles go down. A third is going to fall as well. That's really good trading for uh, Soma. And I think we're pretty close to Oregon losing this game. I mean, it's still pretty even at this point. It's pretty close. Looks like he sent out some SCVs to go repair those battle cruisers, but they're no longer there. Uh, they are dead. More ultras coming up here. Some marines gonna stand their ground against these ultras, but they're about to hit that plus five armor. Oh, it's just barely fighting these down. The marines are low in number now, and we've got a, a defiler reaching the front as well. That's pretty annoying. Defiler's gonna be able to consume and push even further forward. Might be able to get up there on that high ground. Good plague there on some of these science vessels. We're running out of minerals here in the main base. The natural and third base are all that really remains here for Oregon. Oregon kills the defiler. And he can kind of push this direction. But he needs to keep something over here to defend this base. Simple counterattacks with small groups of lings are actually going to deal a lot of damage if he's not careful. Base up in the top left-hand corner. That's a double gas base. He cannot allow that to go online. He's going to try and push through here. Ooh, couple of kills. Seven kill Muta. Now at eight kills. Kills three vessels there. That is really painful. Would have been much nicer if he was able to quickly run forward and hunt down that... Like, if he just targeted down that Muta, he could have saved several vessels there. Making its way past this army. Some... Units are going to get here into this mineral line at 12 o'clock. Oregon running out of steam right now. His battle cruisers have done nothing. His marine armies uh, seem impotent here. Soma just definitely sh uh, proving himself a little bit better of a player today. Just clearing out this army. Oregon, I mean, uh, he taps out. That's a little bit sad. That is a little bit unfortunate. Um, I really thought that the build choice was better here for Oregon. And that Soma was probably going to lose by just getting denied this base over and over again. Um, maybe if Oregon, instead of standing here and killing an overlord and, you know, fighting some things or killing some buildings over here, if he'd run up and just killed this hatchery. Hatchery was quite low, around 300 HP. If he just killed that... That's really all he needs to do is just deny this space over and over. Um, it would have been a much easier game for him. And I mean, we shouldn't have been able to get away with what 
Soma did, right? He counterattacked across the map and left his fourth base open. And he really probably should have lost this game. I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. The first game is going to go to Soma, though, which is nice. He's going to move forward, putting a point on the board for his team. Let's see who gets sent out next to face him. King of the Hill format again. Let me remind you. So let's jump into that next game and find out. Okay, the rematch here between Larva and Soma. I love to see it. The match was so good between these two. So good. Seriously, guys, go and check that one out if you haven't seen part one. It was insanity. Uh, on one of those older maps. I actually can't remember the name of it right now, but uh, it was the one with the back natural you have like your own base uh in the back and it was f just insanity it's just so crazy um hope we get a repeat game like a another great zvz from these two we've got larva up in the top left hand corner we've got soma down here in the bottom right larva purple zerg what is he going to pull out this game? He hasn't built his spawning pool just yet, but Soma's got his on the way. He's going to be opting for a nine pool. Likely a nine pool speed in this game. And Larva looking like he wants to 11 hatch. 12 pool. Okay. Interesting. Because he went 12 hatch, if I remember correctly, in that game last cvc which is wild he managed to hold with the 12 hatch i might be wrong about it might have been 11. um i just remember uh when i watched it today yeah maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right on that i can't remember um 12 hatch versus nine pool it's pretty strongly favoring the 12 pool or sorry 12 pool versus 9 pool. It's pretty much favoring, pretty strongly favoring the 12 pool. We're going to be getting this gas now. It's quite a bit later. And we won't have speed as quickly. But we are going to have a way better economy here. And, well, we're probably going to have to cancel this hatch. That's probably going to be a thing. I mean, I don't think we can hold on to it. Although, we do have six links on the way here. It's going to be close. It's going to be a little bit tight. But we might be able to hold on. What am I saying? Larva should be able to hold on to this because he managed to hold 12 hatch versus 9 pool. He should be okay here. He's not going to have the additional larva, which you get from taking a, an early hatch, um, which means he's you know, going to have less links, but he'll have a closer rally point. He may have to pull drones. Okay, he's going to pull drones with this. He sees that it's a nine pool. He's going to bring the drones here to fight. Let's see how this goes. This is going to be a, an intentional, intense little skirmish here. Let's see how are we doing? Taking a little damage on some of these links. He's trying to get this around on something. Doing a little bit of damage here, but some links are going to run into the main. All right, taking this fight. This is really good for Larva. Oh, man. He really surrounded this nicely in the main base. See what kind of damage we can do. Looks like we lost a drone over at the natural. This is very good control here overall from Larva. Go ahead, fight that. Okay. Ling speed going to be finishing up here. He's going to go ahead and chase back across the map. He has more larva now than his opponent, but he does not have that all-important lair heading up here. So I'm going to battle from the high ground. We're 11 to 7. And more links? No, okay. He's making an overlord right now. It's a little bit rough for uh, larva. He missed an overlord. So he's kind of supply blocked right now. He's got 300 minerals. And nothing really to do with it. Is he just going to make pure Ling as soon as that finishes? He starts one pair, but he makes two drones. 
All right, interesting decision making there from Larva. He's gonna take this fight at the end, try to kill as many drones as he can. They get one more. There, he does get that one last drone. Six drones remain. There's 200 gas. He's not going to be mining any more of that gas. Instead, he's just gonna be focusing on getting two Mutalis out here and making sure that uh, we have to make spore colonies here. Evolution Chamber coming up. Lings pressuring across the map. So more Lings out here for Larva, but he's at a disadvantage right now. Here we go. Gonna take this fight. Ooh, gets this around. Kills one drone, but there's still double the amount of drones for Larva. Oh my god, is he just gonna focus the hatch? 79 HP. He cancels the layer and it gets back that money right before the hatch goes down. Dude. I think someone just won this. That snipe on the hatch was legit. Um, Larva being a little bit greedy and trying to run his drones away. Instead of fighting with the Lings and drones immediately, um, he starts a hatchery once again, but he is in a terrible position. It's funny how similar <laughs> this game is to the last one. It's actually very funny because they were so evenly matched oh god the spore's late okay we well maybe we just see a uh, larva lose off of this he's gonna start to lose a bunch of drones now uh he will finish the spore here in a moment but he's gonna lose three drones can he get in here and deal any damage with these lings he has to kill a bunch he has to kill a bunch of drones right now let's see if he can get anything done uh, i think soma should be able to just run away oh okay he gets one so it's eight drones to six, but there's two, four mutas for Soma. It is hilarious that he managed to kill this hatchery because the same thing happened in the last game. So it's almost an exact repeat. Um, a little bit of a worse position for Larva, unfortunately. Uh, for him, Soma got to be feeling pretty good right now. Like he should be able to take this one home. Uh, four lings managed to go around in this this part of the game so maybe he can sneak in here get another couple kills now with four lings he should be able to block this five mutas coming in there's only one spore colony one shotting the drones nice pulling away there does lose a muta it's a little bit sad for soma he really wants to get some more uh, damage oh this is such a sneaky move he's gonna get in here get a couple of kills one two they get three. He will get three. That's so big. Going after the spore colony. Actually, whoa, he cancels the layer. Well, that's wild. Okay, it's going to start to hit. He actually manages to force this back. This is a wild game right now. We've got a few more links popping out. Some links of someone coming across the map. Oh my god, he's going to fight the spore. And he can actually kill this. If he kills the spore, this is all over. Oh my god. God, the larva's just barely gonna hold on to it. That is wild. He keeps this alive. Links are gonna run into the main. Two of them alive with pretty high HP. So he's gonna be able to kill some drones for sure. Needs to build some links here in the main. Gotta keep these over here to prevent the spore colonies from going down. More links are being made right now. It's just four drones to ten. Oh my god. We actually need a sunken colony, I think. Sunken Colony would be a very good choice right about now. Goes after another drone. But just one drone's not going to cut it. It's nine to four. Nine drones to four right now. We absolutely have to kind of win right now. Uh, as Soma, he's got to kill this. If he can kill that, that's big. He might get that kill. He does get the kill. That's pretty important. Should be building another spore here. Because he can actually come around and start to kill the spawning pool. If he wants to. Soma can, and he will. Look at him. He's going to come right over here. All right. I was mistaken. Seems like he doesn't want to do that. There's another creep colony coming down. Okay, he will do that. There it is. Going to start to damage this spawning pool. Going after the creep colony when he can. Spawning pool just about to go down. Oh, he almost gets that drone. That drone so low. He does get it. Gets the drone. Uh, Crypt Colony is going to start to morph here. 
Ling at the back gonna be helping out against the spawning pool. Can he actually kill it? Wow, he gets it. He gets it. Going in here with the links, but there are links at home for Soma. That spore colony will end up finishing. He's got to start the lair. Oh god, he didn't start the lair. Did not start the lair. He's gonna start to lose drones here pretty soon with all this bouncing of the glaives. Oh my god, he loses the spore. That is so painful. Spore goes down. More links coming out. Oh, all right. Larva might be able to just break him. Kill all the drones. Let's see if he can get in here and do it. Uh, he should be building a spore back at home right now. Oh, he's going to go after the, the spire. Well, that's wild. Can he actually get it? No, he's not going to get it. Okay, more links come in. Can he get it? Uh, it's very close. These two links are doing nothing. Why are they just hitting the hatchery? Oh my god, he wastes so much DPS there. GG. He taps out. What an anticlimactic finisher to an epic ZVZ. Larva gets taken down by Soma, who continues his streak. Man. Crazy. Crazy game there. I love it. Soma versus Larva turning out to be an absolute banger of a two game series. I wonder if we'll see them match up again. I guess they won't because Larva has been eliminated unless they go to the ace match and those are the two that they pick, which I highly doubt. So that's it for now for Larva versus Soma, but that was super enjoyable to watch. I mean, I almost want to put those two games together, uh, Larva versus Soma and just put it into a separate video just for fun because I think it's so good. This is an epic ZVZ match, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree, if you'd like to see that video. I guess you've already seen this, so you probably won't have anything to say about that. Maybe you should, maybe you'll say um, that I should absolutely put it in, or maybe you think uh, ZVZ is not worth watching. Either way, if you enjoy ZVZ, this is that game worth watching. Well, I never realized that this one has teeth in the hole, and that one doesn't have teeth. Um, just a random observation there, but we're going to jump into game number three, guys. Don't go anywhere. Soma versus, uh, I don't know, coming up next. All right, here we go. Soma spawning here in the bottom left-hand corner. We've got Shuttle, his next opponent, over in the top left. And I'm a little bit bummed that we don't get to see more Larva games. I'm a big fan of his. But Soma played a fantastic game there in that last one absolutely deserving of that win uh, in the background here of course shuttle uh, sorry larva and piano have been taken out now it's shuttle's turn flash is still waiting in the wings so even if soma takes down shuttle here which i imagine he has a pretty good chance of doing flash gonna be the ringer at the end, we'll see if he's able to clutch it out for the team or if Shuttle can go on a little bit of a winning streak. Um, not expecting it, but you know, you never know. You never know. Shuttle is pretty crazy when it comes to late game PvZ. He's a darn good player in certain circumstances. It feels like he's a bit hit and, hit and miss. But there was a time when I thought Shuttle was going to be one of the greats. Like, I thought he was going to win an ASL at one point. When I was watching, or when, when Zerg players were kind of dominating, and I was watching his PvZ late game, I thought, man, maybe he can go all the way. But he's proved me wrong. Back in 2020, um, was maybe his peak. But he's been in so many ASLs. So many ASLs. This guy is just a solid, solid player. Even though we like to joke around about uh, his overall skill being low. I mean, to get into the number of ASLs that he has is really impressive. Cannot be underestimated here. So I'm going to go for it. This back natural. This is the map that we saw Larva versus Soma on earlier. And let me tell you, it was a great, great ZVC. I know I keep on harping on about it, but you know what? Maybe that ZVZ we just saw might have actually been better, but um, I'm not so sure. 
This is two of the greatest ZVZs I've seen in a long time, albeit I do not cast that much ZVZ. Now, first Zealot's going to get in here. Lings are going to pop. They will get the surround at the back of the natural. This is perfectly done. Yeah, not much better than that. You really can't get much better than that um, as Soma here. Uh, maybe if you have the Ling in a position where you can pull it back, you can do a little bit better. But, I mean, it's it's tough to do a, a better hold than what we just saw with only one Ling going down. Now heading across the map with eight Lings. Um, should be nine, actually. I guess one went down, right? So here's that other one. There's nine. Um, three Zealots here in the natural. We don't have a forge just yet. It's being built here in the main. So you can't get a cannon just yet. Just waiting for one more Zealot. I think with four, you can block this. And then it's pretty well impossible to break with just lings. It's like one of the worst trades you can imagine. Now he is making a lot of... Oh, wow. He's going for it. I'd love to see him pull a drone or something and try to like break this. Try to break this with a, a drone. But he's actually just going to go for it with pure ling. And he might be able to do this. It's looking a little bit hairy right now for... Uh, shuttle. He's going to lose the gateway here quick. Builds another forge on the right hand side. It's a pretty good move. I'm um, going to block with the probes there. Uh, we can probably run around the probes. This cannon is so close to finishing. Probes are going down. The zealots here are getting a little bit stuck at the back. He has three though and the links are going to be forced back. That is a crazy hold. I can't believe he managed to hold on here. I can't believe that Soma didn't try to run by. Because I think this is a gap right here. We did see a probe, I think, go through there. So, you know, he should have been able to do that. Starts another forge here at the front. Just to try and hold. I think you can run through there. I'm not 100% though. We have a spire on the way. It's two hatch spire. After this Ling uh, attempted bust. Let's see if he can just go in and kill the cannon now. As soon as that Spire finishes, he's going to pop some Scourge. Try to chase down this Corsair, but Corsair's going to get in there and spot the Spire before it finishes. Okay, just finished now. Um, not quite before it finishes, but he's going to see it with enough time here to prepare back at home. He's going to get more Corsairs going. Come on, don't disappoint me here, Shuttle. Are you going to make another Corsair or what? How are we not making another Corsair? I guess he's just making cannons back at home. He's got a pylon over here. Corsairs are heading back home. Pylon's going to finish soon. He'll start a cannon right away. There's the cannon. I'm a little bit afraid here. He's got the bare minimum of air anti-air defense. He could just come right in and just start killing this Photon Cannon. No problem. With the Scourge there, I don't think the shuttle can contest. Yeah, it looks like... I mean, Soma probably just going to straight up win this. Uh, if he just goes right here, right now, I think you just lose. Yeah. Um, okay, so he's going to try and chase down a Corsair. Are we serious? Just kill this cannon. What are we doing here, Soma? Alright, he's not going to do that. I'm going to try and get the catch on one of these. Nice attempt there. All right, so we're kind of letting things pass him by. That's, um... Yeah, I don't think that's what we wanted to do here. If we just kill the cannon, uh, we can definitely prevent the Corsairs from engaging just with the Scourge. And then we, we beat the base. We just kill one of the bases. Uh, okay. I'm gonna take this fight now. Wow, this is not what I expected from Soma at all. He's usually so much better... With his Mutalist control. He loses a bunch of Mutas. He does get one Corsair. He's building more Scourge. And has plus one armor on the way. Whereas we don't have a plus one air weapon coming. Because it just finished. The Cybernetics Core just finished now. So things have been heavily delayed for Shuttle. But he's still got a probe advantage. Third base is finishing up now for Soma. 
Finally adding on his fourth hatch just now, eight minutes in. Scourge are going to look for a snipe. Don't think they're going to find it. Oh, they actually might. There it is. He gets another snipe here. A little bit bad from Shuttle. He's not going to be able to move out until he's got like six Corsairs. And even then, plus one armor is going to finish pretty soon. Two more hatches coming up. I remember this map. I still don't remember the name of it, but you had to build like a really awkward wall at the front uh, to make this third base work versus uh, Protoss. It was really weird. Like you built like a Hydroden evolution chamber hatch hatch. And then this is like a, the great wall of Zerg. Um, but then they can just easily throw down a storm on your drones here at the third. Um, just by walking up this direction and just storm this. So it, it's it's weird. It's awkward. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of this map. This is a weird way to build the wall, by the way, because hatchery on the right-hand side or on the side, either side of the hatchery, is zealot tight, but not hydra tight. And then I believe evolution chamber over the hatchery is actually zealot and hydra tight. So you can just stop ze zealots from running by that. Uh, which is pretty powerful. So I don't know why he wouldn't do that. Okay, here we go. Big Ogre Zerg play here into the natural. He's going to kill both the cannons. He's got enough uh, Scourge to dissuade uh, Shuttle from actually taking this fight. He's going to kill a lot of probes. Wow, down to just 32. That is wild. He's going to try and bait the Scourge in, but someone not going to be baited. Uh, that plus one still not done, but plus one armor is done. So he's actually going to take a pretty good fight with this. Oh my, is he going to try and fight that? That's so many Corsairs. But you know what? Is he actually just going to win? Wow. With the Scourge coming in, he just kills them all. Okay. Well, Mutas are kind of busted when you've got that plus one armor and they don't have plus one attack. Holy. He just, <laughs> he just fought like... Six, seven Corsairs with just a bunch of Mutas. Uh, now that... Oh, plus one's still not done. And these Mutas are getting kind of low. Um, all right. He does force that back. Can he actually build a cannon to keep this alive? Be a little bit tough. Zealots still don't have speed. I think now actually someone's going to win this. This is kind of looking like a... Like a potential shuttle win, but... This is pretty well done. And the armor just made all the difference in the world. Being able to just stand and fight with the Corsairs, uh, it's pretty darn strong. He's going to kill the Nexus. There it goes. Nexus goes down. This is pretty much GG. Shuttle's going to get taken out. It's all going to be up to Flash. Flash has the weight of the world on his back right now. Um, his team does have uh, the round one victory. So, it's not do or die for Flash uh, when he gets King of the Hill. But if they lose this next round, then he's going to have to play in the ace match. Most likely, they'll send out Flash. And that's not the position he wants to be in, I don't think. Hydras are now getting produced. This game is pretty much over. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Um, Shuttle is going to stick in here, but this is... So done. Uh, the Hydras come out in such a massive number. Scourge going to go ahead and connect with some of these Corsairs. GG is called. There goes the shuttle. Soma continuing his killing spree. Three in a row. Can he make it four? Flash is coming up next. Let's jump into that game. Okay, Soma versus Flash. Crazy crazy matchup after beating three players in the row you'd think that Soma would be filled with confidence going into this last match but you can imagine just the level the impressiveness of Flash it's gotta be like a, a boner killer here how are you really going to imagine that you're gonna walk over flash like you think you're on a hot streak right up until you meet flash in a series this um 
This guy's got to be scared right now. I don't know if he's going to be up to this challenge. We're talking 2020 flash before military service, before any uh, crypto shenanigans. This is flash at his absolute strongest. Uh, maybe debatable, but I think what isn't up for debate is when flash beats snow 4-0 in the finals of ASL I think that is undeniably the strongest that Flash has ever been that is I mean especially when we see Snow nowadays I don't know if Snow back then was quite as strong PVT I think he still was very strong it's really his PVZ that has improved so much uh, in recent years but PVT, even back then, in 2020, he was insanely good. And Flash made him look like a child. Like, he made him look like he was playing his little cousin. You know what I mean? Like, when I play my 12-year-old cousin, if I play him in a 1v1, it's kind of what Flash looked like, just straight up on the big stage in front of thousands of people in an outdoor arena smacked the snot out of so or out of uh snow incredibly impressive play from him and i expect nothing less here in this pro league although soma he's gonna be looking for a different result let's see what he can make happen he's got his hatchery just about to finish up here and uh, Flash is just preventing this one mineral field from mining. You can you can already tell which mineral field is uh, the best mineral field by just which one Flash is uh, preventing Soma from mining. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's the absolute best one. I, I think that uh, the left side, there's not a huge amount of difference to most of these patches. Like definitely on this side, this patch is the best. Um, but on the left-hand side of the, the hatchery, I think that it is pretty automatic. You don't actually need to boost or anything like that. There might be some, like, hidden strategy that only Korean players know that I'm not aware of. But, oh my god, this is going to make it back with 5 HP, isn't it? Oh, it just barely doesn't. Well, you'll let me down, Flash. It's like he sent out another SCV, probably on a shift click to the mineral patches. And so he does get the, um, goes ahead and gets this, uh, scout here in the main. Sounds like we had some sort of cancel on a building there a little, uh, just a moment ago. I think that was to get out an extra drone. Yeah. He, um, maybe didn't have the overlord timing just quite perfect there. And so he did have to uh, just extract your trick or uh, sunken trick out an extra drone. Now, a bunch of lings are being made right now. And Flash made it look like he was going to go across the map with some of his naked marines. But he's actually just going to sit here in the natural. Soma is in a lot of trouble already, let me tell you. 15 drones here. He has his extractor but he's got so many lings he made a buttload of lings and he doesn't need them um if he tries to th run these in against flash flash is just gonna smack this down he's waiting for his comm sats and you can bet he's just gonna sit here until his comm sat is ready scan exactly what's coming here from soma and then he's going to move out Let's see i gotta get rid of that okay there's the scan. He sees the exact number of drones. He knows, oh, you probably got lings, don't you? Probably got a few lings. Scans the main. He sees mutas are building. He is not going to be moving at all. This is fantastic for Flash. He is in such a good position. I can't tell you the number of times I've seen Terran players start the move out and then scan. I think Royal is one of the players who i've seen do this maybe rush as well and then they lose everything like they move out to here they scan 
and they don't really realize what's happening until the links surround everything and kill it. Um, it's going to move some marines here into the main. Checking to make sure that the mutas aren't just going to go for that immediately. Um, it's definitely a bait to get the marines to come into the main base so that the links can come in and kill the bunker. Here we go. He's going to go for the bunker kill now. Lings are going to try and take this down, but this is a great trade. He killed a Muta and basically all the Lings for what? Two Marines? Three Marines? Something like that? Um, it is insanity. Well, okay. He's going to take this fight. Uh, a little bit of a premature move out there for Flash. I think... Wow. Uh, I got to actually go back and uh, take this game apart because this is kind of crazy. What we just saw there from Soma. Uh, that was like... A real giga brain move there that uh, is hard for me to unpack with all this action going on. We've got uh, someone being pushed away. He's only got two mutilists left, but many, many more on the way. He managed to kill one of those turrets. If he can get back here with some lings and start to kill some turrets in the back of the natural, maybe he can make something happen. The bunker is about to finish. Oh god, it's finished. It's just so close right now. If he could just get that bunker done. Oh my god, he's not going to get it. Okay, there we go. He gets two marines in there. Really important that he got that bunker done. He's starting another uh, turret here. I don't think that someone's going to be able to break through. It feels like he's been stopped with four racks. You're going to be able to replenish this marine uh, amount so quickly. And there's just nothing here at the natural. There's only one drone mining. So, uh, mining minerals, I mean. So... This is a really tough spot for someone. We're probably going to see him tap out. But I actually want to go back and just kind of look at this game again afterwards. Because this is some really cool stuff from Soma. Uh, and Flash. I mean, Flash obviously uh, definitely taking the better end of this game. Uh, the better end of these trades. But still, really outstanding stuff from Soma. There it is. He taps out. Soma goes down. But let me just quickly roll back the time here a little bit. Uh, because I want to show you guys something that is just really, really cool from Soma. So, let's just talk about what Soma is representing here. He's representing that he's built a bunch of lings, right? Flash knows that he has lings out here. That's why he didn't move out. He's just standing here. He's waiting for the engagement. He knows that lings are going to be coming. Um... He didn't send all of his marines up into the main. He sent a few of them up into the main. Just in case Soma really went on these turrets hard. Um, but as soon as he sees the Lings and Mutas coming in, he immediately stims towards the natural. So he's going to get down here and take a fantastic trade. So he takes this trade. But look at what Soma's doing. He's hiding. Why is he hiding these Lings? Or why is he not bringing these Lings? Is that a mistake? No, it is absolutely not. This is where the genius of Soma comes in. Soma is hiding these lings because he wants Flash to think that he threw them all away. Because watch what happens next. He comes in, he kills this bunker, and he built more lings behind this. He's got more lings coming, and Mutas as well. So he's going to pull all the mutas together. He's got four, five, and a sixth one showing up here. And Flash just thinks, oh, I just killed all your lings. There's no way. Like, I can definitely move out now. You know, he was being so cautious before. After all the lings have been thrown away, hell, he can definitely move out now. But even Flash can't, at a glance, see all of the lings that came in here to the natural. Like, Flash can scan and see how many drones. But at a glance, he can't see, calculate exactly how many lings are here and go, okay, you're hiding lings still. There's no way. So he doesn't know that. And watch, he, he immediately moves out. Soma, this is a bait. He knows he's coming. So he brings everything together. He did not forget about these lings. He was just waiting for this exact opportunity. And here he goes. He's gonna dive on top of everything. Oh my God, just beautiful brilliant play here and he clears all of these marines now this actually if this was a different player this might actually be the end of the game right soma still has what is this 10 no yeah 10 lings 
and five mutas. All the marines are dead. There's one, two, and this marine's about to die. This marine probably two. I mean, any other player, any other player in the world, Soma would be able to kill them from here, I think. But watch what Flash does. He pulls his SCVs so quickly. Even though his army died right there, he's already got his SCVs on the ramp. The lings get blocked. They like He splits the lings in half. There's like five lings over here on the left and four lings here on the right. And a couple more marines pop out. Soma decides, okay, it's better to pull the lings so that I can fight here and the natural kill these turrets. But these lings are stuck. And so he loses a couple of them and he's not able to get up this ramp. Another a couple of medics are going to go down. So I'm going to go to work on these turrets. All he needs to do really is kill the th kill these turrets at the back and have the mutas screen for the lings. Uh, just kill off these marines as they come down. But Flash, he pulls the marines up and around here. Keeps them away from the mutas just long enough. This one unfortunately went the wrong direction. It is what it is. But he manages to get into this position where he can defend the turrets. And having the turrets back here, it's very hard for the lings to get on top of these. It's kind of Soma's mistake. He really should have gone back here and tried to get on top of these turrets and just keep diving in with these mutas. But we're only on four marines or four mutas. It's not like he can one shot these marines. And it's just, uh, it's tough, right? He's not probably going to be able to break him here. And Flash manages to hold just such an impressive back and forth between these two. Really, really good stuff. Now, Flash is on the top of the hill. He is the king right now. Can anyone dethrone him? There are three players left who are going to try. There is Effort, Stork, and Bisu. Who's going to be sent out next? We're about to find out. Oh, boy. We've got Flash here in the top right-hand corner versus Effort. Ooh, this should be an intense match, guys. Uh, unironically, that last game was one of the great moves that I've ever seen out of Soma. One of the greatest moves I've seen out of him. Really great game. Really awesome game. I'm so happy that I've uh, been sent this series. A uh, big shout out to Dude Nerd. Such a legend. Uh, he actually purchased this way back in 2020, uh, this series, and he gave it to me for free. Such a nice guy, such a big supporter of the channel. If you ever see him in a Discord chat, absolute legend. Give him a thank you for me, will you? This is so fun to watch. I'm absolutely loving it, and this match should be epic. We're on Benzene with effort versus flash does not get better than this guys the alien zerg versus the ultimate weapon the only player to beat flash in a finals in a best of seven i think that is the statistic the only player to ever beat him in a best of seven you might uh, that might actually be incorrect but um, definitely the only player to beat him in an ASL finals. Finals, That is for certain. Uh, I think we actually saw a round one effort versus flash game on this map. Um, let me confirm that. Yeah, that was match one effort versus flash. Oh, and we also had match seven effort versus flash. Uh, I think flash won both of those if memory serves so you know we've already had two wins and look at this tries to build a bunker here effort just not buying it at all he doesn't even flinch not even a little bit he doesn't pull a single drone because he knows that flash is not bunker rushing him i mean he did he didn't see the cc beforehand but he just he just knows, no, you're not bunker rushing me. 
I'm just gonna continue on with my build. Nice waste of, uh, you know, 25 minerals or whatever. And, I mean, this that's, this is just the level that these two players are at. They are just ins insane, brokenly strong. Um, and effort is not phased by Flash at all. You can just tell. He's like... Uh, just so used to playing against him and so confident uh, Really displaying that confidence in a real tangible way there at the beginning of this game now We've got speed coming up of course layer on the way. This is a very fast command center here one uh, racks command center for flash uh, not nothing out of the ordinary. Pretty similar build to what we would normally see, uh, except for Flash does it his own way. Like a lot of players these days are building like a wall in the natural um, to feel a little bit more comfortable against Zerg in the early game. But Flash is just going about it his own way. Um, he kind of made this more standard. Is that he's just going to go ahead and pump links or pump Marines here. Off of two racks, he's probably going to put on that two racks pressure. See effort. Running lings all over the map. He's just trying to find some random SCV that might be out here somewhere. Um, looking for, you know, something that might be hidden. Maybe a marine or something. Any little thing that he can spot. He's going to send his lings around all around the map just to look for that. We've got eBay on the way. Both of these commsats are finishing up. And five minutes rolls around. He's ready to push. Flash heading out right now onto the map with about seven Marines. He's just barely going to see this run by coming from behind. He's got two fire bats behind this. And so he will be able to clean this up. Pretty good control here from Flash, but he will lose both of the fire bats. Both fire bats going down. Pretty annoying. Lots of Marines coming out. Gonna try and chase these down. He's taking a little damage here from the Ling counter, but he's going directly up to top left. Going directly into top left. Okay, he does finally clear that out. He lost a couple of SCVs, I think. Two fire bats as well. Directly to top left. He's gonna be able to, I think, force to cancel. Cancel will have to come down here from effort. Really unfortunate that he's gonna have to do this, but. Uh, that's just Flash. Like, he knew where he was going to place that. He hits the two the, the two racks timing attack. And there's really nothing that Effort can do. So, Effort going to pull together his mutas. Try to kill this as efficiently as possible. And then get that third base on the way. It's going to be late, but it's better than being dead. Right? Let's see if he can get some hits on this. He's baiting out some energy here by forcing the stim over and over again. And he will eventually clean this up. Evolution Chamber on the way, interestingly. One Muta goes down. Can't be backing away from this. Oh, God. A little bit of mistake there from effort. Let's see if he can clear this out. Mutas are getting a little low. He's trying to pull out the Mutas that are damaged. Ah, oh, he loses another Muta. And another. Oh, my goodness. What was that? Four Mutas that went down? Just to clear this out? I think that effort was trying to be a little too fancy there. Like, he was trying to do some shenanigans. I don't know what that was. Pulling out mutas that were damaged and stuff. To try and get the best trade possible. I think it might have been better if he just dove on top of everything and just killed it. Um, maybe if he'd done it perfectly, he could have gotten a better trade. But that certainly was far from perfect. Now, Flash coming out with another group of Medic Marine. It's a little bit dangerous right now. Um, effort. You know, he can pull things together. And if he gets a couple of good snipes then he could shut this down completely and if he just crushes this then you know flash is sitting here with three racks he's not going to be able to put together too many marine forces or he's not gonna be able to put his marine forces together too quickly uh to where effort you know just can't stop this um or can't transition he might be able to transition here getting that third gas online I haven't seen a Hydralist end just yet. So he's not prepared for that transition. And he hasn't actually started plus one armor either. So there we go. He does dive on top of that. 
I don't know what this evolution chamber is for if we're not going to actually build plus one armor. I feel like there's just a mistake here from effort. I feel like he had the money a long time ago and he might be thinking that it's actually on the way. Um, and he might be kicking himself here in a moment uh, that he didn't start that. Um, he's going to go ahead and start to break open the natural. And there's nothing in the bunker right now for Flash, which is definitely a mistake. Starport coming up. I think pretty simple to just go into uh, Valkyrie from here. Pretty pretty easy choice, I think, from Flash. Let me take this engagement once again. Wow, he's going to clear out everything. Flash loses all his Marines once again. He's just got five racks, though. Five racks is pretty scary. That's a lot of Marines. And he has plus one. Um, plus one is done for these Mutas now. Coming in for some more SCV kills. Could go after these Marines once again. Gonna pull back that starport, maybe closer. Oh wow, it's just gonna dive right on top of this. Yeah, effort just not caring here, but that really didn't go well. Yeah, the end of that fight was very bad. Now effort combining some more mutas here. He's bringing some lings together as well. Anything in this bunker? Two Marines in the bunker. Um, there's not a lot of Marines up here on the higher... Wow, they're all over here. Maybe he can dive on the bunker while the Marines are stuck in this position. Yeah, he's going to go for the bunker. Here we go. You should get it. The well, Marines are going to have to run all the way around in order to uh, help this base. And he's just going to lift. He's going to lift and uh, escape from this situation. Going up onto the high ground. It's a pretty tough decision. But I think it might be the right one here. Flash. Gonna give up that mining. But he will have his vessel out here pretty soon. I'm surprised we didn't see Valkyrie come. I really thought we were gonna see Valkyrie. Still nothing with this evolution chamber. That's so wild. That is so wild to me. He's just gonna try and break up this ramp. Can he actually kill Flash here? Just taking this engagement pretty well. But the mutas are really starting to thin out. Only four remaining. Still more Mutas making their way to the front here. And we should have a Vessel. Okay, just started Irradiate. Oh my god. Flash just getting Irradiate started and the... This is almost done. Okay, that's wild to me. Um, Maybe he didn't have enough gas, I guess? He's got plus one armor. Irradiate. I don't know. He's only two on gas. Oh, that's crazy. He's got 33 SCVs in the main and only two on gas. That is definitely a mistake here from Flash. Like, that... That cannot be right. Coming up here with some lings once again. Trying to poke on this side while hitting with the Mutas here on the right. There we go. Starting to shave these off. Muta count is getting kind of low. But he's keeping him on one base and efforts here on three. Is he actually going to be able to beat Flash right now? This would be pretty impressive. He's going to get that Irradiate. Here we go. Irradiate goes down. That's quite a bit of damage from this Irradiate. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. All the mutas just went down. But there are reinforcements. Reinforcements coming up here. Five marines coming out at a time for Flash. He should be able to overwhelm and push this back. And there's no real transitionary tech here for effort effort is just trying to win right now with pure muta i'm gonna go ahead and pick off these last few marines he's coming down the ramp now is this too uh early no i think flash got this he does there it is gg effort taps out flash going on a roll now both zerg players have been taken out there's only a couple players remaining stork and bisu Let's see if either of them can take on the champ. Okay, well, this is probably going to be quick. Flash versus Stork is next, and I don't think Stork stands much of a chance, I'll be honest. We've already got a probe heading out on the map. I know what's going on here. Stork is going to try and cheese, and my god. Is it obvious that he would want to cheese against Flash right now? He is just not on the same level. Nobody is really on Flash's level, I don't think. Aside from maybe effort. Um, yeah. 
This is pretty obvious. We're just gonna go 99 gate. 99 gate over here on benzene. Let's see if this works. I doubt it will. Even if it catches flash off guards, which I doubt that it will. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be caught off guard by this at all. Um, I still don't think it's gonna kill flash. Flash is just way too good with SCV control. And Stork is just not strong enough. Let's see what happens though. We'll withhold judgment for now. I know that sounded pretty judgy, but um, well, I guess it was no real defending that is there no 99 gate it is just a single gateway here zealot trickle gonna be coming into flash's base I'll probably just throw it on a second a supply depot here in a moment and that should be a pretty good location to hold uh, any zealot pressure we have that refinery on the way as long as flash lives through the early game, I think he should win. He should have this game in the bag. He is just so strong. Um, let's see. Zealot coming out. First Marine going to start. Second Supply Depot has not begun yet. Uh, I imagine it'll be placed right there. Yeah. Oh, looks like he blocked it. Pretty good block there. A little bit annoying here for Flash. He does want to start that any second now, okay. It's been delayed quite heavily. There's the factory. Factory started. Supply depot. There it is. Supply depot going to start. One marine right now. Got a lot of heavy lifting to do. Ooh, gets a shot off. All right. Gets one hit on that marine. Oh, another hit. Okay, that's pretty good. Can he stop this? Supply or this uh, factory from building. Oh, another hit there. One more. Can he get one more? Ooh, great splitting there by Flash and almost traps the Zealot as well. He's managed to keep this SCV alive. Also, I think he lost one SCV so far. Um. Oh God, look at how. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Everything kind of went bad there for a second. That wasn't correct. The Marine kind of bounced there and. Now there's a Zealot on either side. Oh my god. Great play by Flash. Gonna pull back away from that. Should be able to kill this one Zealot. This is a bit of a tough spot, but... Uh, it looks like he can handle it. Vulture gonna be on the way now. SCV just about dead there. Looks like he will probably lose that one. Oh my god, look at the splitting right there. Flash is gonna keep his Marines alive. I guess he lost one Marine. Really well played. I mean, Stork did what he could, and he did pretty well, all things considered. But Flash is just way too strong, man. He's just not going to be defeated by this. And he puts a bunch of damage onto that Dragoon. Dragoon does get a kill there. Good micro by Stork to just pick that off. But this gateway is going to be targeted. Oh, the pylon's going to be targeted. Looks like the dragon gonna come out here. We try to pick off a marine or an SCV that's coming forward. Yeah, he wants to target. Oh, he gets that. Okay. Nice snipe there. This is the dragon. He got the one uh, vulture, which is nice. Gonna try to rotate around here. Pick off marine by marine. Um, okay, pylon will fall though. And that's gonna stop production of dragoons over here at this gateway. He has another gateway back at home. And as the dust settles, I guess he can start a Nexus. I'm going to pull this Dragoon back. Marines are coming. Will Flash just go across the map and try to kill? He's got quite a few Marines on the map. He's got some SCVs uh, with this army. Vultures are going to be rallied forward as Mines finishes up. One tank. Let's see if he can just bowl over Stork with this attack. You know, Stork really doesn't have much right now. He's got two Dragoons and a third is on the... Or fourth is on the way. No, third is on the way. So just two and one of them is super low. Yeah, it's not looking good. Four Marines and a tank. Five Marines now and a tank. Vulture as well. Second Vulture on the way. Let's see what Stork can do here. He does have range at least. 
which is kind of important, but maybe not important to this fight. Um, because Flash seems like he's got overwhelming power here. Uh, he is going to perhaps stop stop this from coming up the ramp, but he's definitely going to have to cancel his Nexus. Yeah, no way he lets that finish. Definitely not. Oh, oh my god. He's going to let it finish. Oh, okay. Stork, the gods are with him. Let's see if he can uh, make this one. Oh, okay. Cannot drag that mine into the army, unfortunately. Still dealing damn. Oh, okay. He's dead. Ooh, damn. Well, as the blue goo sinks away into the ground, I think the hopes of Stork have truly been slaughtered here. He's going to try to drag the mines into this army, but Flash perfectly pulling away from that. Now it's probes coming out here to fight. Stork should, in fact, leave this game, but it feels like um, he's just going to go on a hopeless mission here to try and kill some of this stuff. He does kill all the vultures aside from one, and he didn't lose too many probes, but I mean, how many probes is too many at this point? He's at 16 to 28 workers. Uh, any probes is too many. Loses the dragon as well, and the tank escapes. Hilarious. Well, um, I don't see any purpose of Stork actually staying here. Aside from, I guess he's got a shuttle and some DTs coming out. Even if, if Flash had nothing at home, it would still be hard to win this game. But he's actually got turrets on the way. Uh, and siege tanks. Back at home. Um, should have vultures popping here soon. There's some vultures coming across. Uh, this tank gonna have to turn around and go back. He actually stayed to kill the pylon, which is a little bit interesting. Um, these tanks could actually die because of that. Oh, he only picked up one DT? I thought he, thought he built two. Oh, okay. I think he might have come out with the DT and actually died. I think one of the DTs come, came running out and died. That's unfortunate. Um, this one DT gonna come in here. I think as soon as he sees the turrets, he should leave. Yeah, he sees the turrets now. He's gonna go around this one. But this is all covered. Like Okay, I guess he can hit an he can hit the supply depot at the bottom. Maybe he can even hit some SCVs if they're hit uh, on this patch. But Flash can slow push over here. Two tanks in the natural. One turret there. We pick up another DT. All right, he's gonna... Oh, he kills the one SCV. That's nice. Missile turret gonna finish up. Gonna come in here and drop. You drop on top of the tank, maybe? Okay, well, there's just a little bit too much there. That's unfortunate. GG. Stork leaves the game. Kind of an expected result here, but Flash, you know, just making it look good. That was some impressive Marine Micro, by the way. Like, some of these moves were so clutch by Flash. I might actually make a, a little short as a promo for this video with uh, Flash's moves there against those Marines. Really, really impressed. By the way, always fun to watch Flash. We're going to jump into one more game. It's Bisu versus Flash in the finals. Or not the finals, but the last game of the King of the Hill set. It all comes down to this. Let's jump into that game. Okay, I did end up seeing the name of this map, and I cannot believe I forgot it. It's Ringing Bloom with Bisu down here in the bottom right. Flash in the bottom left, and if Bisu manages to win this match, we will go to that final ace. But it's going to be tough with Flash spawning here. How is he going to be able to take down the ultimate weapon, White Terran? looks pretty slick blue protoss a staple no doubt where is bisu gonna try i know i know what is the correct choice for stork right definitely you gotta do some sort of rush but bisu he's a bit of a stronger character now back in 2020 i don't think he was as strong in pvt uh, as he is currently in 2024, he's really leveled up his PvT game. He's like kind of the opposite of Snow. 
where Snow is a PVT specialist who, since 2020, has leveled up his PVZ. Bisu is a PVZ specialist who has leveled up his PVT in the modern era. So, uh, I don't know how much of a chance he stands against Flash in this game. But he's going to give it his all. He's got a back natural here. He's going to grab Nexus coming up on the low ground. He's going to snag that right away. Good choice here for Bisu, but Flash with the CC first. Going to meet him in the greed. Taking that immediately here is fantastic. Flash already off to a great start. The build orders, I, I'm really feeling it for Flash right now. Check in the center of the map. Bisu made sure that there was no barracks there. It's kind of funny. Thinking that Flash would cheese him. It's kind of an eco cheese here for Flash, but he's not the type of guy to build barracks in the middle of the map. Um. He kind of used to be that player. Maybe he would throw out a cheese now and then, but he's much more likely to eco cheese you or just play a standard game. Eco cheese right here. You might not agree with me, but this is certainly cheesy. Going uh, CC first. Just hoping that the enemy is not... Uh, gateway rushing you like if he had gone CC first last game uh, He would have lost for sure Absolutely, but I think he's felt out Bisu properly in this match and he knows the map He's gonna get in here And you're gonna see the timing of the cyberness. He already knows that there's a nexus there Doesn't even need to go check. He knows the timing and so You know, well, I guess he is actually gonna go ahead and just take a look down here. He sees it Confirmation established. And he's going to go ahead and get out of here before the dragon pops out. We have a factory on the way. And Flash. Just going to do Flash things, guys. It is just past midnight here in Japan. Uh, it's about 12.30. I'm chilling. I uh, forgot... I did the the thing where I forget that green tea has um, caffeine in it. So I had a coffee at lunch because I was driving um, quite a long way. And then when I got home, I had a green tea thinking like, oh, this will be a nice uh, chill drink. I don't know. I'll just just go ahead and uh, have a, a, a nice soothing cup of green tea, a soothing bottle of green tea. Um, and yeah, it, it definitely has caffeine and I'm completely wired right now. I don't usually drink caffeine. I only drank coffee because I was going on that long drive and yeah, now it's 1230. I usually go to bed at like 11. <laughs> I'm a creature of habit. I always go to bed at 11. I always wake up at eight in the morning. Got to get my eight hours of sleep and, um, now I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm messing up my sleep schedule. And I am completely wired right now. I'm just ready to cast the rest of this series, guys. We have a Reaver coming here from Bisu. But I think he already knows that he's in a little bit of trouble. He knows that Flash has pulled one over on him. We've got a Starport on the way here. He's going to go into a drop. And he might also go into a Wraith. Let's see if he builds a Wraith immediately or he wants to get that drop going first. Sometimes this works out really well for the Terran player. Like if you just forego um, your tanks, especially on a map like this where you've got your bunker on high ground, it could be so strong because they can't poke in and see that you don't have a tank uh, because they're going to take a lot of damage uh, from the bunker. So he's only made two Marines here. He finished uh, speed for his vultures and he's got a dropship on the way. So his drop is going to come into the Protoss base right as the Reaver is coming across the map. And that is super strong. Uh, 
yeah, it's going to deal a lot of damage here, most likely. Unless he crosses paths with this shuttle as he's coming in. And he might actually do so. Oh, he sees it. Okay. Well, uh, he's not going to turn the uh, Reaver around, which I'm a little bit surprised about. It's actually just going to go straight across the map. Let's see what happens with this. Oh, goodness. Just perfect control so far from Bisu. He's going to dive right on top of those. And he's going to lose a few probes here, but not too, too many. Get some good Reaver shots. Oh, man, that was a really good Reaver shot there. Killing off some turrets here. I think that Flash is actually taking the much worse end of the stick. Um, Yeah, wow. Okay, we got some more uh, Vultures in here. That's going to be dealing a lot of damage. Picking off quite a few probes, but I don't think it's going to deal as much as this Reaver. So the Wraith comes out. He's actually going to start to deal with that shuttle. So he picks that off. Uh, probe coming out here ends up going down. And when the dust settles, 39 probes to 33 SCVs. I mean, it's pretty even. That was, that was kind of crazy. So I guess that Flash dropped off the vultures, went back out, picked up four more vultures, and then tried to drop in and deal more damage. Crazy that he didn't actually kill more. Because with all the chaos that was going on, you would think he would basically murder everything, but he really didn't have much back at home. Uh, he's going to kill a few more probes here, but still, the lead solid lead Bisu's advantage, and he's got three Nexi. So he should be able to pump out those probes quite a bit faster. As long as he gets this third Nexi rolling. And he's going to go straight up into Templar Archives here. The dropship survives. So that's still going to be a threat out here on the map. But the third ba base is done. Beast is defending that now. He's still got Dragoons in, his ba in the back of his main. Um, some here in his main base as well. Flash is grabbing his extra factories and rolling away with that plus one. He should be getting a science facility in the next like 30 or so seconds. Oh, here comes another drop. Gonna dive right on top of that. Ooh, Bisu handling this very nicely, but he doesn't get the kill. He really wanted to dive on that and just kill it. You could see that he like pulled back the dragons and then ran forward right as the shuttle was or as the dropship was coming in to try and get maximum damage on it but one of the back dragons didn't run forward so he ends up not getting everything he wanted with that now he's gonna get in here deal a little bit of damage like two three probes that's it but beast is gonna be okay with that i think he's in a rather okay position at this point considering all the craziness that's happened all the dropping that Flash has attempted to do this game. He hasn't really gotten that much damage done with it. And a fourth base is likely to come up here in just a moment, Bisu. Moving to take that base now. Nothing that Flash can do to stop it. But we will get into a late game. It was looking like the game was going to come to a head there for a moment. As things were getting so chaotic. But... It really does seem like this will stabilize and both players very even. You can see t about 10, almost 20 supply advantage here for Bisu. 10 worker advantage. The fourth base up and on the way. Oh, drop here. Reaver got two kills. Does manage to get a third, but it goes down. All right, SCV is for the most part staying alive. Just like two to three worker kills there. Nothing significant. Flash going to continue to send out vultures. Wants to get in and try to pick off some probes. Maybe when the transfer comes, you can get in there and pick something off. Another drop here. This time it's a Templar drop. I'm gonna drop out this dragon first. Here comes that storm. Oh my, oh, wow. That was a lot of kills. Oh, man. So painful. He drops the Templar. No energy left on that. But my goodness. 
some serious pain for Flash. Bisu gets everything that he wanted from that drop and more. And now really, Flash is kind of in a desperation mode here. He's gonna come across the map and try to take a fight before Bisu is ready. He's got lots of Zealots on the way, but he doesn't quite have them set up in the position that he wants to just yet. This is a great spot for Flash. It's so, gonna be so hard to break in there, but there's nothing anti-air. So Zealots dropped on top of tanks will do very, very well. Drop in the tank. Oh, great mine connection there. Another great Zealot bomb. There is finally a Wraith here at the front, so that can push things back. But I think Bisu's gonna have enough. He's going for it now. Can he break through? Great D Matrix there at the front. Another storm should go down. Two more, in fact, should follow. And this tank push will be stopped. Great play here from Bisu. Bisu, he wins. He forces Flash to tap out. Incredible stuff here from Bisu. Takes balls of steel to send the Reaver straight across the map when you see that dropship coming in. But he managed to get over there and deal damage while Flash was going pretty ham with the Vultures, right? Setting in one Vulture drop to start. We'll actually go back and just take a look at this. I've been doing this a lot today, so might as well keep it going. Right, he sent it, he built four Vultures and he went for the drop and then he built four more to do the follow-up, right? So here we go. Got the three out here in the front. He drops four here. He's just making vultures. Only vultures are coming out right now. He's going to deal with the shuttle with the wraith. But I think he was hoping that Bisu would turn around with that shuttle. Give him a little bit more time to prepare a defense. Because he just does not have it right now. He, no turrets at all. No eBay even. He was planning to just deal with this with that wraith. And that is not a a great tool for, for getting rid of the uh, Reaver once it's actually over here. Once it's dropped, the Wraith takes a very long time to kill that. So he goes in, he does the drop, he immediately flies out, picks up more Vultures, four more Vultures, and goes in for the drop once again. And there's just nothing here. Okay, one turret. I don't even know where the eBay, eBay is at. Is it down here in the corner? It's gotta be, right? What is the clock key for this? I actually forgot. Um, Map, map, map. Q, of course. No, it's not there. Where the heck is the eBay? Am I blind? Oh, there it is right there. Jeez, I am blind. So, like, nothing else has been built. Nothing else has been built, so... Just pure vultures thus far. One Wraith finally going to pop out. But this does a lot of damage. And immaculate defense from Bisu. He doesn't budge with these two dragons, by the way, the whole time. He just keeps those guys in that position. Let me just take another look here uh, of how this goes down with the uh, vultures here. So he comes in with the second drop. And I think he actually gets a pretty good mine here. I don't want to miss this. Let's see. Yeah, just one Dragoon here. He's fighting with the probes. Does he get... Yeah, he gets the mine to connect. Oh my god. How many probes? One, two, three. He's at 41. Okay, he lost three probes there. It's actually a pretty sick uh, thumbnail right there. I might actually make that a thumbnail. Because they're going to see this live. There we go. There's your thumbnail. I like it. Let's jump into our ace match. Bisu taking it home for his squad. Round two complete. And Flash lost that last match. Who are they going to send out either squad for that ace? Let's go find out. Wow, I was not expecting this. Soma's going to be sent out here as the final player. It's all coming down to this. 
15 games, guys. Seven games in the first round, seven games in the second round. Each round has gone the entire distance, and here we are in the finals. What kind of epic strategy is going to be pulled out here by either player? What does Soma have that he thinks can beat Flash? I'm so surprised we don't have Bisu <laughs> playing out this last one after he just beat Flash in the last game. You'd think he would have the confidence to play one out here, but he's decided not to test his luck. I suppose maybe he feels like you only get one, one, one opportunity to beat Flash here, and he's already taken that. He's already... He's already <laughs> used up all of his luck i don't know i thought he played really really well in that last game but soma what will he pull out here it seems like he's gonna go for a 12 hatchery and he will of course get away with it now flash is going to add a barracks in the front this is the first time we've seen flash go for barracks i mean in this week or this uh day of uh pro league the first time we've seen him build a wall in at the front so what is he gonna do behind this wall in that's so special what has he got planned for back here is he gonna go for an early plus one build cross map positions pretty good situation here for soma getting away with the 12 hatch going directly into spawning pool and gas I'm not skipping a beat right now flash looks like he's probably gonna skip the first marine i'm not sure if he will but he could okay he's gonna start the first marine does he cancel no he might actually okay he's actually gonna build the it looked like he was thinking about it i think if he gets up this ramp and sees the base here or if he saw the the natural i think he was actually going to throw down the cc but he's actually just going to start the supply depot first and then bring another scv down to start the cc one marine behind this wall is going to be enough yeah, he could take some damage on this but actually won't take much at all so i'm trying to be cheeky just get a little damage done on this scv but Flash is going to bully that away, and with the SCV getting in here to the main, he's going to see everything. What is the follow-up play for Soma? Is he going to send this drone over to top right? Seems like not great moving shot here from Soma. Really on top of this, but Flash a little bit too good. Going to get out of range of that drone with 10 HP. Going to actually get away from this. Oh, does end up going down. That's a little bit rough. Not going to be able to see what the tank is here from Soma. That's for sure. Lair is not quite yet done. Second. Barracks. So two racks play from Flash. He's going to put on that pressure. Let's see if Soma's ready for it. So far, it's been looking good. Everything is gone. Soma's way so far. Oh. Base at 12. Very interesting. If you guys remember, he went for a similar style against Piano, aka Organ, in an earlier match in round number two, and went pretty well for him, right? He did he did a good job. I just don't think he can pull off the same thing that he did there against Flash. Is this gonna be a mix-up though? Is he gonna go for that ultra play again on three base? Or perhaps will he switch it into Hydra Defiler? The type of strategy I was expecting. What is strong on that map? Maybe he goes for just a pure Mutalisk all in. Three hatch mute all in? What do you guys think? Might be that three hatch Muna. There's a second gas coming on the line. Spire here. Marines moving across the map. It is a long rush, rush distance. And the Spire is just about to finish. This is a very quick move out though. 
You can see the timing on this is really crisp for Flash. He's got exactly eight Marines. Pushing across the map. Five sets of links. There's no metabolic boost though. No speed on these. Oh my god. Is Flash just going to kill? I think Flash does it. I think he wins. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. No metabolic boost. And he didn't build any mutas. Oh man. Links are going down left, right, and center. Drones are going to start to fall as well. Flash is standing in the middle of this. The drones come out and they just get walloped by Flash. Flash just going to sprint up this ramp, going directly for the throat. He's already killed so many drones. This game is over. Nothing that Soma can do to bring this one back. That is for sure. Everything goes down. He's just going to have to tap out. My God, what? An anticlimactic finisher. Flash just does it in style. Making it look easy. Like Soma had no idea what he was doing this game. That's what it looked like. The fact that he just got beaten by a pretty standard two racks push. It was like a few seconds early, right? He moved out at maybe like 4.55 instead of five minutes. Let me just check here because I don't want to misspeak. Let's see exactly when he moves out. 4.50. So he's like a full 10 seconds early. How did he do that? Was he cutting SCVs? Seems like he's building SCVs still. Yeah, it seems like he was still building SCVs. He starts the engineering bay. Usually this move out will come at like almost exactly 5 minutes. Like 4.58 would be fast. Like five minutes is pretty standard. But he sees it. If he builds sunken colonies right now, he can live. Two sunken two sunkens will live he will live. But I guess he's afraid that he's just gonna lose the hatchery. Wow, this is unfortunate. Really unfortunate ender here for Soma. Uh it's oh man. And the fact that he just decided to make all links and he doesn't even have speed. Like, why not just say, screw it, just wait for the mutas. Man, that really is a bummer. Damn, what a finisher here. I mean, yes, it was a little bit fast. But Flash winning would just straight up. Two racks is crazy like it's almost it's almost unbelievable it's almost like no way really this actually happened this is actually the game that we played you know it's yeah it was five ish seconds faster maybe eight seconds faster than what most players will move out uh with their marine medic I, which is is actually a very big deal, but if if we were close positions, you would still be like you'd still be hitting it about the same time, right? It's like five more seconds at least between walking from here to here and here to here. Right? Man. That is a disappointment. I bet these, uh, these teammates of Soma were pretty choked up after that loss. Uh, yeah, that, that's gotta be a, a rough one. Imagine the look on Bisu's face when he just beat Flash and then he was like, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a rest here. Go ahead, Soma. And then Soma just botches it like this. Man, oh man. I feel like Soma was a pretty new bull was pretty new blood at this point. Let me go ahead and just check this. Because I don't want to speak at a turn here. He was just getting active in 2019. His first ASL season was ASL season eight. So 2020. It was 
after his second ASL season, but I mean, Soma had a very quick rise, right? He went, uh, what was this? Like round of, um, 24. He went round of 24 first season. And then he went directly into KSL. He got third, no fourth in KSL. Something like that. He was in the third, fourth place match. And then he got fourth in ASL uh, season nine, right before this match. Oh no. And then he went ASL season 10. He got second. So he, he really rocketed to the top quickly. And so he got second place ASL season 10. And who did he get second place to? That is a good question. Let's see. ASL Season 10. He lost to Zero, aka Queen. He actually lost to Zero. He was already second place. Oh, that's cr Here's a bit of trivia, guys. Season 10 was the season when Flash played random. And guess who knocked him out in Season 10? Soma. Soma knocked out Flash in season 10 right before this. November 1st, 2020. And immediately after this was the Pro League, this Pro League day, which was uh the what was in December, right? So this is like right after. This is fresh just after this uh win over flash i think that would be the reason why they sent out soma to take on flash here uh for sure this is a rematch from that asl and you know flash of course not messing around at all playing terran as well so when he went random he got zerg zerg Terran, Terran, Protoss, Zerg. They only got Terran twice, and he won one match, and he lost one match. So, that's funny. That is a bit of trivia there, guys. Very interesting series of games. A little bit unfortunate that the last one went like this, but it is what it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Pro League match. I'm really looking forward to doing more of these. I hope we can get some more replays like this. It's so much fun. Even if they're a little bit older, I'm still super stoked to be watching these with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.